Now, as Trump tries to roll back parts of the Affordable Care Act, AliveCore, the tech company that makes health devices, is rolling forward with incorporating artificial intelligence into its electrocardiogram. The Cardia Pro will allow users to send ECG readings directly to physicians in real time and will even send notifications when a test does not match previous ECG. The company also announced a $30 million infusion from Mayo Clinic and Omron Healthcare. Vic Gondotra, a LiveCore CEO, joined the company in 2015. Previously, he was an executive at Google for seven years where he led Google+. Plus. I spoke with him and asked about the company's latest technology, the Cardia Pro. Our new product, Cardia Pro, is really aimed at physicians. It allows a physician to monitor all of their patients who are using Cardia Mobile. Uh, and it not only allows that doctor to see the ECG that's taken at home. Electrocardiogram, so this is monitoring your heart. That's exactly right. But it also allows that doctor for the first time to be able to see things like hypertension, blood pressure, uh, th the patient's activity, and their weight. And so for doctors, for the first time, they have a complete picture of their patient's health taken at home, and they can see what's been happening in between visits. Do you feel like the healthcare area is looking towards data and towards technology with open mind, open heart, willingness to learn, or, or is it a little bit, a bit reticent? I think there's an appropriate amount of skepticism. Doctors today are overwhelmed with information. They spend too much time in front of the computer screen already. And so I think doctors rightfully are going to be skeptical until they have proof that the data that they're seeing is useful, that in some way it helps them adjust, for example, the medication for the patient. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, this stuff becomes noise. And so we're kind of thrilled at the early reaction we're seeing from doctors on Cardia Pro because we think we've done the right amount of work from a regulatory standpoint and also in the software so that, so that we don't overwhelm the doctor with noise, but really uh, surface to the doctor the appropriate information that they can act on. Talk to me about the geographical presence of your product, though, because it's interesting that the United Kingdom has already been adopting this as well, my own hometown. Yeah, you know, we've been thrilled with the reaction uh, in the UK, particularly the NHS, mm. uh, which has started to really, uh, for the first time, make our product reimbursable. National Health service in the UK is the number one employer. It's, it's a huge presence. It's the number one employer. It's the largest and oldest uh, privatized uh, uh, health insurer in the world. And so they're really setting the pace. We're seeing in the United States, even the commercial insurers follow the lead of NHS and also look at these devices because they see the value. If you can spend a small amount of money and catch someone who has got atrial fibrillation, that's a lot better than that person having a stroke, which which is the most costly and long-term disability in the United States. And so for a small investment, you can find that person, get them appropriately medicated, and prevent a much worse outcome. Talk to me about the investment that you've been making in your own business and the software that you've been building on. You're now looking towards machine learning as well. Yeah, you know, we think machine learning is going to play a profound role in medicine. We think doctors are going to uh, use AI as a tool. In fact, we can't imagine half a decade from now that doctors will not be using this tool. Just as you would not go outside at night without a flashlight, a flashlight extends human vision. These AI techniques, particularly the kinds that we're using, allow a doctor to see more beyond what their human eyes could see in the electrocardiogram. You know, the ECG has been out for 100 years, but the work we're doing is discovering new signals that have been hidden in the human ECG that the machines can see that human doctors may not be able to. You've just announced $30 million coming into the business. Congratulations. Yeah, where, where does that go? Does this really go more into honing your product or pushing your product worldwide? Um, so the $30 million investment that we just announced with Omron, uh, the world leader in, in blood pressure technology, uh, and also Mayo Clinic. Having Mayo Clinic uh, invest in the company we think is a, is a pretty amazing statement as to where we are. We're going to use that to continue the uh, engineering work that we've been doing. Uh, we've been doing some amazing work around deep learning. Uh, we will uh, continue to invest in that space and it is our goal as a company to be the leader when it comes to deep learning and ECGs. 
I want to broaden out the regulatory risk and indeed the regulatory now adoption and the, loop show, the hoops you've jumped through to prove to the FDA have been clearly surmounted by yourself. How much does political risk play into your business? Because at the moment we're seeing a lot of changes being made to the Affordable Health Care Act and indeed how health care is provided in the United States. Does that affect where your business goes? Yeah, absolutely. It, it certainly affects where our business goes as the broader health care uh, picture emerges, which is very turbulent. We don't know where that's going to go. Uh, but at the smaller scale, because our device is so inexpensive, and in the United States in particular, consumers will spend the money. It's less than $100. They'll go to our website or Amazon and they'll just buy it. Uh, they, we're largely, that, that aspect is largely uh, not affected uh, by, by these bigger healthcare concerns. Uh, consumers are willing to make a small investment if it means that they can uh, take care of their own heart. So is there almost pressure from the consumer going to doctors saying, I've got this, I bought it, and now I want to use it. Can you start learning how to adopt and, Absolutely. and to track? We, we hear stories like that all the time. I mean, this is a revolution in healthcare. Instead of very large, expensive ECG machines, where you might get your ECG taken once or twice a year, maybe, and that process involves you going into the clinic, taking off your shirt, having a clinician attach leads, spend 30 minutes, and expensive versus having a small device you carry in 30 seconds, you can do it every day. That's the future of medicine, including lowering the cost of medicine.